It's an event showcasing more than just books. This community-based celebration of literacy and learning is also highlighting science. Carmela Zega, a mother of three, attends the festival every year. She says this year's Science City has helped her kids develop new interests. It gives them a perspective that they may not get elsewhere. They're learning about opportunities for them as they grow up, jobs, and it brings them to the campus, which I think is important for them. This is the fourth largest book festival in the nation and the only one that has made science a key component of the event. Allison McGraw, a UA student, is volunteering at the mini hovercraft demonstration. She says it's a family favorite. It has been a nonstop line all day. Every parent's take a picture of their kids on the hovercraft. McGraw says learning outside the classroom is the best way to get kids hooked on science. It's easy for students to get discouraged by bad grades. This is a low-key setting that's able to say, hey, science is fun, you can do it. Created by the UA's College of Science and the Bio5 Institute, Science City features a unique layout, including neighborhoods with different themes where volunteers like Kathy McGrath can be found wandering around offering brain teasers to visitors. Pretty fun to have a brain hat on, a lot of jokes, a lot of people interested in their brain teasers. It's nice to get kids interested at an early age. To, to learn what science is about and what options that they have. If you missed out on this year's festival, be sure to mark your calendars for next year. It's been scheduled for March 14th and 15th in 2015. For Arizona Cat's Eye, I'm Sammy Joe Roth.